Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and for the first time in my life I'm making a video inside a tunnel. I'm in the Lincoln Tunnel dragging along in front of me a bus and next to me another bus and all that stuff. It's fun, fun, fun. Today I want to talk to you guys about um, the Tesla semi-truck. Where, where is it? What, what happened? The Tesla semi-truck was supposed to be driving the streets of the United States of America this year, 2019. Well, this year has two more weeks to go. The Tesla semi-truck was introduced, what, two years ago? And then the uh, Tesla Roadster came out, out of the belly of the Tesla semi-truck, and we don't see the, the, the semi-truck or the Tesla Roadster. So where the heck are they? Both of them. Well, it looks like the semi-truck, uh, first of all, there's many prototypes of them driving around, you know, street legal and all that, testing, testing, testing. And there are a lot of reservations for the Tesla semi-truck. There are a lot of reservations for the Tesla Roadster as well. And uh, but they're not there, they're not produced. So it looks like, looks like from all the earning calls I've been, I listen to every earning call. Uh, so uh, looks like they're gonna be start to be produced uh, next year, 2020. So is the Tesla Model Y starting like now? As we speak, they may be starting producing it, but it looks like it will be produced, the semi, and probably the Roadster, but I'm not sure about the Roadster, but definitely the semi in uh, Nevada, in Gigafactory 1 in Nevada, because uh, the Fremont factory in California is has no room. You cannot produce anything. They go, there we're gonna produce the Tesla Model Y, which shares a lot of components of the Tesla Model 3. What a great idea this was. And, and that's where we're gonna produce it. So uh, the Tesla Semi is an incredible, incredible machine. Beautifully looking, best looking Semi you can ever see. Uh, driver sits in the middle, two screens from side to side. Uh, you know, they are promising 500 miles. I bet you 25 cents is gonna be more then uh, uh, 500 miles, it could exceed the expectation. Let's talk about 300 and 500 miles. Uh, I think it's gonna be more. Uh, fully with a payload of 80,000 pounds, that's a lot of pounds. And um, you, uh, so that's what they're doing. That when you see them on the streets, especially in the West Coast, uh, they are testing, they're testing them around. They actually even delivered uh, Model 3s using the Tesla semis. But there's just a few of them that are just, it's just prototypes, as I said, and hopefully they will be um, uh, they will be uh, produced in some capacity next year and in more capacities in the year to come, since there are tremendous demand for them. And when they will have obviously the full self-drive capability down there, the line, and that would be freaking amazing. Uh, and it is part of the Tesla Master Plan B, which I'm going to talk about in a future video. Uh, master Plan B that has to do with you know uh, the Tesla Cybertruck and the Tesla Semis and all that. That's the commercial aspect of uh, the automotive industry, which Tesla wants to take charge and electrify that component. So that's that. So hopefully we'll see the Tesla Semi. The awesome. I would love to drive it. Whoa, would I would love to drive it, but probably I will not. Uh, so that's that and of course the tesla roadster tesla roadster who knows we'll see what happens so thank you guys for watching and i'm just about to exit the uh the lincoln tunnel just about crossing to new jersey from new york city thank you for watching give me a thumbs up please support this channel via patreon oh and now you can see me uh, via patreon and also uh you can shop on my store you can use my referral code to buy your Tesla. You can support this channel any which way you'd like. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.